Hello everyone and welcome to our brush and tools uh, class. Uh, this is all about brushes and I want you to consider brushes like an extension of your hands. Keep in mind always when you're using a brush of the finish that you're trying to um, achieve. This is actually all the brushes that are for face and this is strictly for powder use. When you are using products that are creamy, like foundation, concealer, cream brush, you want bristles that are synthetic. When you are using um, uh, products that are more powder, you want bristles that are actually real hair, or if they are synthetic, you want them to be soft enough to mimic hair. The whole goal of it is that they, are, they blend more product. So let's start with our first brush. The longer the bristle, the more fluffy they are. They are meant for blending, not applying. So this has long bristle, and as you can see there, it's super fine. This is a big brush, which means it, it's supposed to cover a big area. That's for loose powder or compact powder application. I always suggest, and you will see me doing them during all our classes, that you put the product on the brush. You always, that, like, and you, you, we, we will do a um, video on how to do that. You tap on the back so that the product goes in, and then you apply and you buff. So this is what this does. It is actually to apply loose powder, not blush and not, um, a bronzer. This is better to use it for loose powder. Now, they do come in different shape. Any of those brushes can be used for powder, but what I do is I always choose different color of bristle and different or different color of handles just so that uh, I can identify which one I'm using for what. So the, the ones that are usually colored are the one that I will use for like bronzer. This is perfect for a bronzer. It is rounded. It is still fluffy, long bristle, but this way it won't stain my brush. Like if you can see on this one, it's already starting to take a color. And this is why I stopped buying actually white brushes because they stain. And no matter how much you clean them with time, some of those pigment will be embedded into them. So both those brushes are the same. Um, I will use the light one for light product. I will use the dark one to use bronzer with, uh, bronzer with so that if it's stain, it doesn't matter. The brush always will look good. Um, I am not going to talk about brands because honestly, there are certain brushes that I like in certain brand and certain other with other brush. As you can see with my kit, I have a variety. It's all depend. Does it do the work for me? So let's go down the line. Smaller brush, less dense, still rounded. Those are great for blush. This is a universal brush, a blush brush. Or you can always use the angled one. It's curved so that it fits perfectly. I usually use this when I'm applying blush right on the cheekbone. And the curved one, I like it when I'm going to sweep right under the cheekbone so that it fits better. This also is great if you like to apply a powder contouring. Or you can go with a smaller brush and it fits right perfect. That is smaller. It's a little bit more dense, so it deposits a little bit more product. And I, I love to use it when I'm using a powder uh, contouring. I also will use it if I'm using a cream blush just because it actually blends it a little bit more um, stronger. Um, like if I want a little bit more color deposit, I will use this brush, which is short bristle, a little bit more dense, have the angle in it so that I can actually deposit a little bit more product and blend it just in that location. It fit perfectly. Those three brushes are actually some of my favorite brushes. They are blenders. They're smaller, very fluffy. 
different size usually the small one i like it to use it for under the eye area so that i can deposit loose powder and set my uh, concealer with the two a larger sizes or medium sizes if you like are for my highlighter also you can use them to apply powder brush if you want the blush to just be localized on the apple the, the apple of your cheek so when i want to use a color on a specific area try to choose a brush that fit that area a little bit more uh, instead of using like a big brush so as you can see, they're fluffy, they're tapered, they're rounded, and uh, they will blend perfectly. So you will not get a heavy deposit when you use these brushes. Last brush on the face powder um, is the fan, which you see a lot of artists um, using it for photography. Um, this is a great blush to apply a very, very light amount of color or highlighter for cheeks um, they are for powder use only um, it blends perfectly and during bridal season it's one of the favorite brushes for photographer to take a picture with now they do come in different sizes this is for the cheek area you do have larger sizes and they're for the body i actually like is smaller because it fits right in that area between the eye and the cheekbone so that it actually can blend for me better so powder face brushes and we're going to move into the cream um, brushes that uh, we're going to use for foundation